Hello, this is Ben with Solveering LLC. This is tutorial number two where I'm going to go over the configuration settings and how they apply to unit scales. I'm going to go ahead and start the INSEP application like previously using the demo version. I'm going to load in the first body and I'm going to go ahead and export it again. Now I'm going to open the file in the STP viewer which is a free application you can download online. Taking a look at the file, there's nothing particular about it, and this all looks fine. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to import a second body. This is just a basic gear shape. Now I'm going to export that shape and load it or import it into STP Viewer. At this point, everything actually looks correct, but it, that's not true. If you zoom in into the middle, you'll see that the a uh, small original shape is completely off in scale. This is due to the fact that neither STL nor some of the other formats like Object Boyfriend uh, do not carry the units with the file. So the application doesn't actually know whether or not the data was generated using a metric unit or an American unit. Now. In a regular CAD application you can go in and scale the bodies and that may be the easiest way to go about this. But if you know where the file is coming from you can often make a guess at what format they're going to be in. So if we go back into INSTEP and change the configuration settings under Import Export and change the STL import units from millimeters to meters and go ahead and load the head again and export that to the same file or a different one and then import that into the same application we'll find that the scale has completely changed as you can see between switching between the wireframe and the solid view this means that the body was actually scaled and the resulting STP format remembers what the units are. Another configuration setting I want to briefly go over is related to the export type. As you import STL files you can also export STL files or you can import an object file and export to an STL or vice versa. STL formats come in both an ASCII, which is a human readable text format, or they come in a binary format, which we can't read. If you choose to export as an ASCII file, the size of the file will always be a lot larger. So you can go ahead and choose binary if you just want to store it. What should be mentioned is that there's no data loss between either of these formats. It's just that some application will read one, another application will only read another format. The other thing to consider here is under the um, STP export units. The step format or the STP format is an ISO defined format which means it will accept metric units, millimeters, centimeters, meters, so on. There are also some implementations which will accept uh, an American unit. One last thing to mention in the configuration file is this item here export all data, valid data. What this means is that during the import of, of a set of files the application will check whether there are any issues with that file. If, you come, if it comes across a file that has problems within it such as holes or incorrect connection between facets it will actually prevent that body from being exported. So if this setting is set to valid data any files that have been loaded in will be blocked from being exported. The user will be presented with an option of exporting those anyway and you can choose to override that at that point. Alternatively, you can go in here and change that from valid data to all data, which means in any case it will export those files whether they load in correctly later on or not. So keep in mind when you have issues with files, always make sure that you check whether there's issues within that file or not and preferably fix them before you load the application. On the general tab there's just some basic items here. The icon size refers to the size of the icons on top so as you can see these buttons are a lot larger if I'm switching from large to small, oh sorry from small to large. 
error checking is set to automatic, which means when you load the file, it'll go through the error checking option. If I turn this off and I load another body in, it'll just load the body and it'll come up as, as the body. It won't go through any checks. I highly recommend leaving this in the auto state. And you can see it takes some time and you can cancel this and it'll still go through and do some of the other checks. But if there's any issues within the file, this will usually detect them and it'll make things a lot easier downstream. Often users ask about the option of having parallel process and that's what this button's all about, where it says max processes. I recommend leaving this set to one. This is a feature that doesn't always work in all computers and all scenarios. So you feel free to experiment with this, but if you encounter problems during the import or export process, do change this back to one. Again, if you have any questions, send us email to support at visit our help menu or go to our forum and submit a request.